artist hopes that the way they arrange the elements in a composition will arouse or provoke a response. Whether what the artist wants to communicate is an emotional reaction, some artistic theory, or a social commentary, if the artist is skillful enough, the response will be a compelling one. Artists know a few visual tricks to manipulate us. Some of these tricks have been used so often they have become part of the way we expect to see art. For example, we associate bright colors with a good feeling, subdued colors with a calm feeling, or harsh colors with an angry or sad feeling. Technique can also indicate certain sensations. A heavy, rough application of paint has a different feeling than a light, translucent application. Art made on a computer using digital tools has a different look than a hand-drawn image. Clay will have different properties than wood when making a sculpture. An artist chooses the material and technique that will best suit what they want to communicate through their art. Some artists find new ways to arrange elements or contradict established artistic norms. They ignore, or purposefully challenge, the traditional ways of making art. The world changes and these artists feel that art should change too. They create novel visual or emotional experiences that surprise or shock us. We all know that when you practice something you get better at it. As an artist gains experience, their bag of tricks expands into a personal visual language. Over time, artists find that by using color or shape or technique in a certain way allows them to communicate their ideas well. Eventually, we can recognize the visual language of an artist by seeing the similarities in many of their artworks. They become comfortable and skillful with their mode of expression. That is what we call an artist's style. An artist's style is influenced by the time and place where they live and the prevailing intellectual, moral, and cultural climate of their era. For better or worse, artists become known for their styles. A recognizable style can help an artist gain fame and fortune, but it may also limit their ability to explore new artistic directions. Different artists become interested in the same ideas or approaches to making art. The work of several artists might have similar stylistic characteristics. Art historians or critics who recognize the emergence of these common stylistic features among a group of artists often come up with catchy names to describe them. Cubism, Expressionism, Realism, or Pop Art are just a few of these designations. These isms are known as art movements because so many artists were working in a similar way at the same time. But some artists object to these labels because they feel it limits how people might view their work. Artists don't like to be pigeonholed. Of course, an artist's style can change and evolve throughout the course of their career. Artists get interested in new things or like to experiment with different tools and techniques. To really understand an artwork, it helps to know how the style of an artist has evolved. If we look carefully at how an artist uses the elements of art and composition to express their ideas and ask ourselves why the artist has made these choices, we can gain insight into the meaning of an artwork. Maybe we will see new things we didn't see before. <laughs>